that the, in effect, the alternative is to risk the loss of uh, the personnel and the planes at Da Nang or move Marines in? Yes, sir, that's, that's the alternative. Now, the, the, the risk is, it's just medium. I don't think it's a high risk because I don't believe the Viet Cong are going to attack uh, Da Nang in great strength, but they were 40 miles away today, southwest of Da Nang, in fairly substantial strength and giving a hell of a fight to the, the South Vietnamese forces at that point. And the cable, the last cable that came in mid-morning said the fight had not yet broken off. So that's getting pretty close. And they've been infiltrating in the hills behind Da Nang in, in large numbers over the past several months. And the intelligence estimates all give them a larger capability than they have yet exercised. So this is the risk. And now here's what depresses me. There remains a question in our minds as to how we must open the door to readiness for talks. This is on a point on which both Dean and Bob especially are quite concerned. They both feel, for somewhat different reasons, that it is important to show that we are ready to talk about Vietnam, always on our own terms, but in all appropriate international channels. They point out that in one sense that is what we're doing, the ambassadors. Uh, but Bob goes a lot further. He believes that we should find a way to have real talks in an international meeting. I think his motivation is we'll need a conference table if things go worse as he expects. Dean and Bob both feel that to hold some of our allies, we may need to be less rigid about talks than we have in the last 10 days. The particular pressure which is visible today is from the British, who are nervous by one sub-cabinet resignation and a lot are yammering from their own churches and McGovern's. What the British want is to make some explorations toward the possibility of talks and to say that they have been here in consultation with you. This is not an urgent matter over the weekend, if only because Wilson is bond, but it will be up for judgment my own next week. My own opinion on the diplomatic front is that we can always get to the conference table when we need to, and there's no great hurry. Dean agrees, though he wants to keep the British happy. I think there's a lot to be said for detailed, careful study, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, Dean's background or yesterday went a little way in this direction, and we would all be helped by knowing your reaction to the resulting stories. Well, my reaction is ain't a damn bit of use I of going agree. out and bombing all morning and telling them all afternoon you didn't mean it and you want to talk uh, at a conference table. I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. President. What my position is that we're drifting from day to day here, and we ought to have inside the government some thought as to what we're going to say tomorrow, the next day, and next week. And so we don't get backgrounders like that of yesterday, which, well, is, as you say, I called them and they say that there's nothing in there that's that tall, that's just not correct. This is a pure uh, New York Times deal to bring us to the conference table. And well, Rush was... didn't say a thing in the world, and the, but the New York Times and Chalmers Post just got together, Chalmers Roberts, and played it that way as a kind of a propaganda move. Now, I don't know. The Rush out of town, balls there, and they got no notes of it. Well, I don't know either. And Ball said he heard it, though, and that Russ said exactly what he had said all the time for the last two years, that when they left their neighbors alone, there'd be no problem. But until that, there's no use of having nothing to talk about. And uh, I thought that's the line, and I think I'd just take that line all the time. Now, he wants to know my reaction. This is Bundy. It's a three-page memo. I told him first, I don't know how to stop this Wilson, but if he thinks I'm going to be here and let Wilson use my platform to talk about my consulting with him about where to have a conference. He's crazy as hell. If I have to go hide a hole up at Johnson City, I'm not going to do it. Sure. And he better tell him that, and I told uh, all that too. Now, on the Marines, uh, uh, the answer is yes, if, uh, if there's no other alternative. I'm sorry that the general was wrong. Uh, I... Uh, I think that uh, the dangers are maybe 60-40 against our getting involved in a big war with them uh, and uh, the Marines fighting with the Viet Cong and really starting a land war. I don't think that that's necessarily follows our sending them there to guard these things. Uh, it might prevent it, but the psychological impact of the Marines are coming is going to be a bad one, and I know enough about to know that. And I know that every mother is going to say, oh, oh, this is it. And I know it. 
what we've done with these B-57s is just going to be Scundy school stuff compared to the Marines. And all they're going to do is be a policeman. And damned if I don't know why we can't find some kind of policeman besides a Marine. Because a Marine is a guy that's got a dagger in his hand and it's going to put the flag up. And uh, uh, an Army boy is not so much. And a Navy boy is not so much. But when we, George Reedy, said the Marines coming in Mississippi, I damn near had to evacuate the White House. I know. When I said the boy with the white jerseys coming in, is a hell of a lot of difference. We straightened it out in 24 hours. And I, I just point that up. Uh, I don't dodge the question. I've been, uh, uh, it seems to me that we ought to be able to find some way besides the Marine uniform. But uh, uh, I would certainly end my announcement then. If I had to do it, and this is the only way the Joint Chiefs can figure it out, I'd certainly say that this is a, a, a group, a, a security group somewhere, or a policeman group, whatever you call these fellows. You, you, you took the, you took the, what, what group did you take out of there? A thousand one time. Uh, um, yeah. Security battalion. Uh, was that one? What did you call them? Well, what did you call them? MP battalion. That's right, MPs. Uh, well, these aren't MPs. We can't call them that, but uh -huh. we can call them security battalion. Why can't you call them security battalion and say similar to MPs that uh, well, pre it's, it's, preserve security? No, sir, we can't really say that, uh -huh. but we can say security. That's clear enough. They're well, quite different from the MPs, and all the press knows that it, it would uh, we'd just be accused of falsifying the story. Uh -huh. Well, we'll just go with it, and uh, uh, we know what we're walking into. And if... Uh, Rather than have it said, well, we wanted protection by a plane, you wouldn't give it to us. Uh, my answer is yes. Okay. But my judgment's no. Well, I, I agree with you. And I told the members of the Congress, I talked to Mr. President, that was exactly the problem. And I didn't say to them we decided to do it. Mansfield told me, well, he said, you've decided to do it. And I appreciate being informed. I said, no, we haven't decided to do it, Mike. I'm calling to get your opinion. He said, I said, I'm cold as hell to this myself. I'm just telling you that the field commanders recommended can't think of any other solution. And I'd like to know what you think. That I hate to see this done. And then he, well, we went on. I was what I was trying to do was push him around to reluctantly agreeing, and I got him sort of half agreed. But it, 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 he'll fall off if anybody attacks him. I'm sure of that. All right, we'll take care of this, President. When are you going to issue the order? Well, we should do it this afternoon. I'm just so scared that something will happen out there. When are you going to announce it? Well, we'll make it late today, so it'll miss some of the morning editions, and then there's no afternoon edition on Sunday. I'll. I'll handle it in a way that will minimize the announcement, but there's going to be a lot of headlines on it when it comes out. <laughs> You're telling me? Okay. All right, then.